Oh, hey Faye, it's booming. Are you ready for us or? I hope so. You actually really are here. Come in, come in, come in. You can see why we definitely fell in love with this house. The staircase for sure was the one. But less of that, we're gonna come and do the living room first. So this is where you will find us most of the time. Love being in here of an evening. You'll see us loads of natural light, which goes over the garden. And we've got double doors as well, which is perfect. And then we've got a second window, and then we've got our beautiful fireplace, which is what we fell in love with. I'm gonna light the fire now, get everyone a bit toasty, and then well, I'll show you the rest of the house. This is normally Teddy's job, to be fair, and so I'm gonna make sure I can try and do it. Let's see if that's gonna keep going. And we can definitely come back and check this later. Oh, I say that. Got a bit stuck. Oh, no, I haven't. There we go. Look at my fire go! Well, Teddy's gonna be really impressed with me if I do this on myself. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> you okay? Yo. <laughs> so we come through and we're straight into our dining space, which we have, again, kept super minimalistic. And in here as well, we're just gonna get the table made a little bit bigger, because um, it's a great entertaining space. And we love it because it's open plan with our kitchen. And as well as that, we have got the conservatory. So in the summer, we'll be able to open the doors up. I'm gonna allow Teddy to have this as a bit of a man's room. So, you know, obsessive girlfriend over here, just obsessed with my boyfriend. And then we go on to the kitchen, where we've got this raised breakfast bar, um, we've changed all the stools and we've got a wine fridge. We love the fact the hob was on this side so you can still be very much involved with the conversation. The kitchen really isn't to our taste. Um, I'll be honest, it wouldn't be our first choice. But at the same time, oh, when you said about the property playground, maybe I can have a little play with this later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that is a good idea. Um, so it's not really to our taste, but at the same time, it's the right size for us it's the right social aspect. Um, and you know, I mean, it makes it work. We've got everything in here. And yesterday, although we've had everything painted in here on pancake day yesterday, I managed to throw a pancake and it gets stuck to the ceiling. So that's always good, isn't it? So as you guys know, I am not in love with this kitchen at all. Um, Boomin have just introduced me to the property playground, which I had no idea about before where I can have a look at incredible kitchens, will give me a bit of inspo. So I'm gonna have a quick look at ones that I may like for the future. And also as well, give me ideas as to how I can maybe change mine up, which I'm actually really looking forward to. Oh wow, they've got some really beautiful <laughs> Actually, I don't know if this was a good idea, I'm a bit jealous. I can see as well who they're actually designed by. So I can see who's designing what kitchens. This is amazing. I'm actually in love with these kitchens. We do need a large mirror. It does even show you large mirrors, guys. I'm actually very, very impressed. Everything you could possibly need. And I would assume for a property portal that it would just be showing you properties, but actually does help massively with your interior. I love this, it's like a whole new mood board for me. Teddy's not gonna see me for days. But this staircase is insane. It's a split staircase, so you can go off either way. We have got our master bedroom over here and our main second bedroom, which is almost finished, so I'm gonna show you them in a minute. But can we just take a moment to appreciate our beautiful mezzanine style landing? We honestly fell in love with it. I could just imagine playing chase around here when Teddy was annoying me. That is the only reason really why we fell in love with it. I'm gonna show you one of our guest bedrooms. And this is a sneak peek for you guys because hasn't no one's seen inside here yet, you know? So we went for a very rattan, sort of boho feel in here. Um, you'll actually see that everything still has the tags on it. Um, we just haven't got around to taking them off and it's all just brand new, which we love. Um, so even to the point where I actually allowed my favorite pillow in the whole wide world to come on this bed, which is of my gorgeous girls at home. And I miss them so much. You all know I'm a massive dog person. Um, so they settled in here for the night. Um, we've got this beautiful 
boucle pillow styled bed. Um, with this one, we did go with just a double bed in here, and that was purely because of the ceiling height, because I didn't want anyone to get out of bed and bang their heads. Every room has got built-in storage, so we didn't need to worry too much about buying wardrobe spaces. And also, I like the fact it's very clean cut. We don't really need to do anything more in here, apart from get a mirror. Um, and again, we've just got beautiful windows overlooking the front of the property. Um, it's just a really cozy room, and actually, me and Teddy have stayed in there a few times, and I actually really love it. I'm going to show you the smallest bedroom which we've turned into our walk-in wardrobe so let's go and have a little look our beautiful dressing room where I literally can sit all day I have tea and I it's just my little getaway you can see look I've even got a, I've even got a dent in my chair which I sit in all the time and I just love being in here is it weird though down one flight of stairs and up the other I'm really lazy and I do exactly what you're doing and go all the way around the landing because I can't be bothered to take the stairs. Uh, into our second guest room. And this is such a beautiful, calming space. We have got friends and family fighting over this room. Um, it overlooks the garden. It's super peaceful. I wanted to keep it really clean. Um, and just so when people come round and stayed that they either had the option of what we call the boucle room, which is the smaller room and it's super cozy, or you've got the choice of this room, which is really airy. Um, so there's two choices what obviously people can stay in. We're gonna have a different feel in each room. Um, but yeah, I love this room so much. This is our master bedroom, which I am obsessed with. I do think it's a bit posh, if I do say so myself. We've got our super king bed, um, which is amazing. Um, we actually made this bespoke, but so many people asked us for it and asked us about it, that we actually decided to put it out to the general public. So they can buy this, um, which I actually don't know if I'm a bit gutted about now, because I thought I was a one-off special. Um, we have got, obviously, our chest either side of the bed, um, so we made sure they were large ones. We didn't want the room to feel like it was big, even though it is big. Does that make sense? Um, we have also got TV in the bedroom, which for me, actually, I didn't want. Um, I told Teddy we weren't having the TV in the bedroom, but he told me we were. So he won that argument. I actually don't know if he won or if he actually just came in, put the TV down and I can't get it up. So, I mean, and it stayed there. I'll show you the ensuite. We have got our standalone bath. We have got toilet and basin. This is going to go because this is hideous. Um, and then we've got our large walk-in shower with rainfall style shower. So I mean, we love it. It's good enough for us, um, but there just needs some work done in here. I think, are we done up here? I think we're done. So do you wanna go and have a look at the garden? I'll show you the garden. So let's go to the garden. We do have to go through the conservatory to get there. This room is nowhere near finished. It is my dog's room. Well, my dogs, it's Baloo's room and a shrine to my boyfriend, as you can see, who I am obviously obsessed with. And then we've got our garden, which at the moment is a bit rainy, but in the summer it's gonna be amazing because it is south facing. So, have you got Rolly? Thank you. I feel like I'm on that, um, fil what film is that way they're like? I think there's an 80% chance that it's raining. I feel like that, right? Oh, wow, you've really given me. Oh, wow, it's an upside down tent. This is good, right, okay, don't worry guys. <laughs> I can't even get, but we're up. So it will be a great space in the summer. We've got a patio space, like I say, it's south facing. It's an all walled garden. Um, and I just love the way it's got so much nature in it as well. We've got such, so much wildlife. But can we go inside? Because I am getting wet. So come on guys, let's go. This brolly loves me, but right, I've got to try and get through with this brolly now. Okay, <laughs> okay, right. So Boomin, thank you so much for coming to have a look around our humble abode. I've absolutely loved having you here. Thank you for showing me my new favourite property portal and thank you for allowing me to redesign my kitchen. See you soon.